Welcome to the Rochester, New Hampshire History Podcast, a monthly show that will shine a light on a piece of history that has been all but forgotten. In recent years, Balding Red Raider mascot has come under attack. As in all battles, there are two opposing sides. On one side are the supporters of the mascot, who argue that it honors Native American traditions and history. Names such as Raiders or Chiefs are chosen to represent aspects of courage and pride. The opposing side argues that Indian mascots demean the traditions of Native Americans and do not represent actual history. Since the Red Raider mascot is a reason these two opposing sides are arguing, I thought it'd be interesting to find the first occurrence of the Red Raider mascot. To do that, we have to go back to the 1920s and 1930s. Before Spalding High School opened in 1939, there was the Rochester High School, and they used the Raider nickname. But as you will see, they were a bit inconsistent with their mascot name. For the most part, their teams were called the Raiders. Here are a couple of 1935 newspaper articles in which the Rochester High School football team were called the Orange Raiders. This was because their colors were orange and black. But in this 1938 newspaper article, the football team was referred to as just the Raiders. Here is an early Red Raider reference from 1935. In this newspaper article, the basketball team was called the Red Raiders. The players were dressed in maroon and white colors, and thus the Red Raider name was born. This is the earliest Red Raider reference that I have found. Though the team was called the Red Raiders, there were no images of a Native American associated with it. However, just three years later, the same basketball team was called the Maroon Marauders. Back then, it seems like they could not settle on a team name and just stick with it. By the early 1950s, the Spalding basketball team was consistently known as the Spalding Red Raiders, but still without the Native American mascot. The football team was simply called the Spalding High Football Team. Let's jump forward to 1957. This is when the Red Raider name in the Native American mascot was used for the first time. All Spalding High School teams were known as the Red Raiders. The yearbooks published in 1957 to the present show the school embracing the Red Raider moniker and the Red Raider mascot for all of its teams. Now that we have uncovered the beginnings of the Red Raider mascot, has your opinion changed on preserving or abolishing the Red Raider mascot? This ends the podcast. If you have any questions or comments, please email bobgriffinpodcast at gmail.com and come back next month for another episode of Rochester, New Hampshire History.